Ladies and gentlemen, in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted, and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Nothing in politics happens out of mere coincidence. Davis Chirchir, the name sounds familiar, has been appointed as the chief of staff at the office of the deputy president. That appointment of Davis Chirchir is significant politically speaking. Number one, Davis Chirchir was President Uhuru Kenyatta's chief agent during the 2013 and 2017 general election. So which means he's been participating in these elections. So why would he be appointed as the chief of staff when we are headed to the election? There must be an objective to that. So that's number one. Number two, Davis Chirchir is a former commissioner of IBC. So which means Davis Chirchir understands IBC inside out. So the question is, why is he being appointed at this hour? Number three, for those who follow the politics of this country, Majority of Kenyans believe that Davis Chirichir single-handedly presided over the 2013 and 2017 rigging schemes in this country. So his appointment can be viewed with that lens. And lastly, Davis Chirichir was the only guy, the only person in this country who had access to IBC servers in the last general election and he was logged in as Wafula Chebukati. Wafula Chebukati didn't even have access to IBC servers, but his name was there. But the person who had access according to those who know politics was none other than Davis Churchill. So his appointment is something which is significant politically speaking in this country. And I want to send a clear message to Raila Molo Dinga, which other party is likely to run? Okay, if Kanozo Musioka will run on another political party, Raila Dinga, Kanozo Musioka, and any other person who will run in this election to start monitoring Davis Chirichir and development at IBC. But before we get into we get into all those details, the objectives of this particular appointment. If you're watching this channel for the first time, please just take a second or two. Click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue. Thank you guys for your continued support. What we do on this channel is that we analyze politics in a way you can't find in other place. And basically, we are doing uh, educational. It's basically for educational purposes so that you understand politics in a better way. So the best thing, just subscribe to the subscribers. Give the videos a thumbs up. Share the, the videos and also you can drop your comments. I, I always take a lot of time responding to each and every comment. Like on this particular one, I want to spare like one hour just to respond to the comments which will be coming first. Now, let us get back to the main issue. When we talk of Davis Chirchir, what comes to your mind? Davis Chirchir was a former commissioner with the IBC. He was removed alongside the group of Isa Kassam. So in the 2013 election, he was with William Ruto and President Ruto Kenyatta. And he served as the chief agent just because of the fact that he was a former commissioner of the IBC, which means he understands IBC like the palm of his hands. So he served his role there. After that election, he was appointed to the cabinet. Actually, he was appointed to serve as the cabinet secretary for energy. But due to corruption allegations, he was asked to step aside. You know, the Ministry of Energy, sorry, he, he, was, he, he was appointed to serve as ministry at the Ministry of Energy. That Ministry of Energy is not just any other ministry. That is preserved for select few. For example, after he left, the only guy who served there until he resigned the other day was Charles Keter. So he served there. He was kicked out, stayed out, 
Then when the elections were near, he was brought in again on board. And after he was brought in on board, he became President Uhuru Kenyatta's chief agent. So this appointment of uh, Davis Chirichir is something that any political uh, analyst or any political observer should be able to look at with a different perspective. In my view, the deputy president has appointed Davis Chirichir to that position because the, the truth of the matter is that he now becomes a public servant. The truth of the matter is that the office of the president and the office of the deputy president, they have certain positions which they fill. They don't have to go through that process of uh, ascertaining whether there is the most qualified. So even governors have those positions. So anybody serving the governor at those positions or serving the president or the deputy president, there's a reason why they are, they are appointed. Basically, that will serve to reward very close friends or probably for political reasons. So in my view, the appointment of Davis Chirchir is meant to serve five reasons. The first reason is that William Ruto has appointed Davis Chirchir so that he can be able to coordinate his campaigns. You know, William Ruto is going for the presidency and he's not going to leave it to anybody. He's going to Mpaka Kwadebe. So the only person who can coordinate his activities is Davis Chirchir. Why am I saying this? He wants someone who understands politics to be in charge of his office. As the chief of, stars, chief of staff, it means this is the guy who will be able to understand the entire office, the way the office operates. And because he's been a politician, he's been a commissioner with the, IB, with the IBC, so his role will be to coordinate William Ruto's campaign from the comfort of the office of the deputy president, basically the chief of staff. So if the DP want to meet some people, he'll be able to link up. If there is a campaign, the DP is supposed to travel somewhere, he's supposed to arrange. And because he has a political eye, that's going to be advantageous to the deputy president. So I tend to think that the main reason why the DP has appointed him to serve there is that the deputy president wants to create another center of power. So that, I mean, it will not be himself who is doing everything. So we're going to have a center of power at the office of the deputy president. After tomorrow, you'll start seeing that office very active. For a long time, it, it remained dominant, I mean, dominant. So the deputy president is going to coordinate some of his activities from that office, but the guy is going to be Davis Churchill. So that's number one. Number two, I also tend to think that the deputy president is not taking any chance with this election. So what he's doing with Davis Churchill is that he wants Davis Churchill to start monitoring any government moves. At the level he's been employed as the chief of staff, it means he will be able to interact with persons A. He will be able to interact with persons B. Through that, he'll be able to monitor whatever is happening within the government. He will be able to know. He will have his ears at the office of the president. He will have his people. At IBC, he will have his people. And be, being uh, at the office of the deputy president it means there are certain places he will be able to access just because of the fact that he works there. So the truth of the matter is that his role will be to monitor any government moves. If they are skipping something, if they are tenders, they are planning on IBC as the chief of staff at the office of the deputy president, probably can place a phone call. Our laser, hey, what is the what is the plan? What's the plot? So basically, he will be monitoring government moves as far as 2022 general election is concerned. Number three, and this is the main reason why it's been appointed, elections management. <laughs> as me, you guys, you have a problem because elections in this country are never determined at the ballot. Never. Presidential elections, I'm repeating, in this country are never determined at the ballot. That's the sad reality. You accept, you don't agree. That's the sad reality. There were plans or there are, there are talks that Ruto has the people and he might not be declared the president. So basically, some people are saying that there are schemes to lock out or to rig out William Samai Ruto. So the appointment of uh, Davis Chirchir as the chief of staffs mean 
is being placed in a position where he can actually manage the elections. So if there is any scheme to rig, is going to come up with the prevention measures. If there's any preparation they need to win, because he understands everything, he will be called upon to prepare. So basically, he's being called in for the purposes of elections management. Just to prepare for elections and to prevent any schemes. It is alleged that in 2017, there was some algorithm. The person behind that algorithm is alleged is none other than Davis Churchill. So, if anybody is planning to rig Ruto out, Davis Churchill will be watching them. That's the realities. Let us not lie to ourselves. <laughs> Number four, I think the deputy president wants someone who can take charge of his office while he's away. Because remember, William Ruto has two offices. I mean, he has the, of, the office of the deputy president and the residence. So if you've been following the deputy president, most of the time he's at the office, I mean, at the residence of the deputy president. The office of the deputy president kind of became dormant. So I think the deputy president is looking at someone who can take charge. Keno Sinde was good, but he, could, he, was, he was not in charge. That's why a lot of things were really happening in that office. So I think the deputy president is trying to clean up his office. So he wants to bring someone on board who can actually take charge while he's away. Taking charge in the sense that if, as a chief of staff, the deputy president wants to meet some ambassadors, the deputy president is supposed to go to another place. So someone who understands that this man is now in campaign mode, and therefore this is what he ought to do, do and do. And lastly, <laughs> you know there's a breakdown between the office of the president and the office of the deputy president. There's a breakdown. There's this attempt to stop Ruto from taking control of IBC. So basically, I'm looking at uh, Davis Chirichiri appointments as someone who is being brought on board to create a link between the office of the deputy president and government offices or officials. For example, Davis Chirichiri will be expected to create linkages with the office of the president. There are staffs there. He needs to create link with them. Davis Chirichiri will be able to create link with IBC. Davis Chirchil will be able to create linkages with other government officials and offices. So basically, the office of the deputy president kind of lost some uh, links with certain government officials. And once Nani died, uh, it's called um, Keno Sinde, the deputy president saw an opportunity to now bring someone who understands, number one, politics, number two, someone who has participated in politics, Number three, someone who cannot betray him. He believes that being a Kalenjin, Davis Chirchir cannot betray him. I don't know what you think, but that's my take. Again, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. Click the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And the subscribers, I want to continue. thank you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. I want to ask you a question. What is Moses Korea's real mission? with uh, one Kenya last. What is his real mission? Because the other day I saw Moses Kuria taking a photo with Kalonzo, and after that photo, Moses Kuria has been over the moon. He's been talking as if he owns one Kenya Alliance movement. What is his real mission? That's going to form our next video. Thank you guys. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.